Jed! What the hell are you doing here? I thought I told you never to come back, and I meant it, boy. Shut the hell up. God damn, what the oh. hell is that? <laughs> Well, you always brought me a lot of trouble, but this here's fucking ridiculous! Fuck, my last good class, too! God damn it! I'm sorry. The other guests were rather insistent. Watch your fucking tongue, boy! You just watch it. You whole boy? What? You being bit there, nephew? No, 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 I, I'm not bit. I, I, I swear to God. Then get out. But I have nowhere to go. I don't give a shit, boy. Oh, no! Come on, fire! Yeah! You fucking piece of fucking goddamn animal! Even with a gun in your hand, you ain't much of a man, are you, boy? Give me that gun and go get some fucking water. Fuck. Fucking thing. Leave that. Go, go chop some wood. What is this, a scavenger hunt? Do I have to tell you again? Look, I'm sorry, okay? Can we just talk this go out? get some wood! You got more chores for me, old man? More chores? Boy, you don't even know how to chop wood. Like a fucking circus. <laughs> I thought I told you never come back here. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Can hear you fucking off. And you brought a fist load of fucking trouble with you. What was I supposed to do? Supposed to fire that gun, Jed. Forget about chopping wood. Make yourself useful and... and you help me drag these pieces of shit fucking sickos out of my home. Boy, you hurt yourself. Yeah. Don't touch that. Jesus.
on Jed. Grab the shovels. For what? Well, for digging. Ever tell you why they <clears throat> call me Threads, Jed? Nope. When I was 15, I joined the Union Army. Dumb bastards made me a sergeant after five years. Then first lieutenant. And they gave me my own men. <clears throat> so I could go ahead and scout them. Just for killing sickos. Like a turkey shoot. And we got in the draw and but in this dry wash, there's about a hundred sickles around us. They kept coming at us at night, just killing off my men. And it was just me left alone, so... I stitched my mouth shut so that if I got bit, I wouldn't be able to pass on the venom. Damn, you're getting old. <laughs> Let me see that shovel. What for? For digging. Hey, so I was thinking, we should probably head north. Safer up there. It's a garrison. I ain't going nowhere. Put your back into it, Jed. Yeah. Hey, uh. I thought you said the next time you saw me that, uh, that you was gonna kill me. Here's your chance, boy. What is wrong with you? You left me. I needed you. I was just a kid. You're still a goddamn kid. This is because I'm not like you. You abandoned me. Well, you know, everyone I, I loved, befriended, they all been killed or died. I, I didn't know how to keep a child, a boy. I'm sorry. I know I'm not your father, but you're the closest I ever had to a son, Jed. Why are you telling me this now? Your fault there, son. Hell, troubles followed me all my life. Wouldn't do a favor for me, and why don't you just put an old dog out of his misery? I'm sorry, I, I can't do this. But now, Jed, 
I need you now. I don't want to become like them goddamn abominations. I'd rather die than become like one of them. Sometimes we just gotta pull the trigger, boy. I don't think I'm ready. We ain't never ready, son.